listening to that soul style beauty and today i'm back with a career update i feel like i haven't updated you guys in like two months and change so that's my fault but i am going to update you guys today um it's a lot to talk about so if you want to know just stay tuned okay so where should i start so two months ago i came um on youtube and told you guys that i was changing my career from fashion to now being a teacher um did i get used to it so basically i can say that the change was definitely humbling um, because I just feel like it's nicer and I'm not even going to lie. This is just me being real. Like it's nicer to say like I work in an office versus now I work in a school. And it took a lot of humility for me to just submit to what God has called me to do. And um, I just feel like sometimes like you can feel like that. Like God called you to do something. It's like, oh, you want me to go from this to that? And it's kind of like, yes. I really want you to do that so it took me a long time just to accept that now like I do work in a school versus an office I do have to wake up way earlier um, I used to wake up at 7 and now I wake up at 4 30 so it's definitely a big huge time change for me but I can say that God has graced me through it and now I just go to sleep earlier and I'm able to wake up um, it's a lot of, like I said, emotional feelings, like it was humbling and also just a little bit defeated because at the end of the day, you guys know that I have a lot of goals. I wanted to do the God's Girls Brunch. I want to, of course, keep up with my YouTube channel. Um, I want to also keep up with my blog. I want to also continue um, doing the things that I love to do and I had to kind of like back away from that and I was like, okay, like you want, you want me to do this job and now it's a limited of time and just like, just about everything, like my social life, um, blogging I can't spend as much time YouTube I can't spend as much time and right now I do feel like yeah I can wrap my head around like YouTube but it's not going to be as consistent as I like because of the time that I have um, so yeah like I said I do feel a little bit defeated but I know that good and well like if God has called me to do these things such as like the business plan that I have in mind the God's growth crunch that I have in mind my blog my YouTube channel he's gonna allow me to do it so like I'm praying for it I would like you guys just to pray for me too um, because those feelings of defeat definitely come and um, rise when I think about this change but, okay so let's talk like work culture and like do I actually love the job so I absolutely love the job like I love the kids I feel like just me having such a big impact on kids that's always where my heart has been I'm working in the kids ministry in BT we have a ministry called BT kids and I just felt like I'm most joyous and I have the most joy when I am working with kids so it definitely shows in my career a lot of the um, school leaders and like my staff members they say that the kids respond well to me um, which is so nice and I feel like the kids love me they get along with me and you just really when when you start to teach like it has to be more than a job like you have to be fully invested in these kids um i think about some of the best teachers that i had and why there were some of the best teachers that i had and i tried to implement some of the things that they did while i was in their classroom um so yeah like i'm really really invested in these kids so like even the kids that act out that like you know good and well like they need to get their act together like i still have a heart for them um, so yeah, I just love what I do, like work culture, I feel like I can get along with pretty much anyone. I feel like the work environment so far is fine, like I don't have any problem with it, like I'm there to teach and that's what I do when I go home and I'm nice and kind to people, so that stuff doesn't bother me. But yeah, I love um, the kids, the kids are amazing, I love what I do. Um, I do feel like it is long hours, but at the end of the day, it's still bearable. Um, one thing that is hard balancing, I'm not going to lie, is going to school part-time. You guys know that I'm also in grad school for child education. Um, and I go to school sometimes right after work. So from working at 6.50 in the morning to about 4.15, I have class from 6.30 to about 9. And I don't get home to like a little bit after 10 to wake up at 4.30. And that's the thing that bugs me out. I'm like, ugh. Like it's crazy, but I do love um, going to school. Like one of my favorite classes, um, we just talk about implicit biases, like things that you hold in your mind. Um, it can be race, it can be like your religion, like where you were, um, how you were brought up, and how that affects the things that you do in your classroom. And I just love that class. That's one of my favorite classes. So I do like what I do. It's just like, like I said, I'm tired sometimes. So my actual position right now at that school, I'm an apprentice teacher, which is basically like a permanent sub. So you teach um, when the teachers are absent. So I teach reading, um, kind of taking on the co-teacher's role, which is reading, core, 
um, and you have to do a lot of other small things and um, send out data and stuff. So I do reading and I'm sure if they gave me the core lessons, I can do that too. But most teachers don't want you to teach the core lessons while they're absent. Um, but that's what I do. So like every week it's been like coverages. So I've been inside the classrooms. It's been times where I've been in the classroom for like four days at a time. But um, yeah, that is my position. But I am focusing on childhood education and I'm hoping and praying that I can be um, a co-teacher for like second grade or first grade. As far as salary, to me, I was not, I'm making just as much, um, a little bit more than what I made in fashion. Um, I can say that because just to be real, I feel like in fashion, they really did pay you by race. I'm not going to lie. Um, race is a really big impact, um, has a really big impact on um, classism and social mobility and I feel like some of these corporate companies like especially if you are someone of color you are not getting the same salary rate as your white counterpart I'm sorry like so I just feel like um, yeah I was paid low in fashion and I am paid a little bit more in teaching and I'll be paid more once I receive my masters and also there's raises every year and there's bonuses not to say that you'll make the most money in the world like being a teacher we do kind of don't make a lot of money but at the end of the day I can still afford thank the Lord to live in my apartment to pay my bills from um, month to month so all praise to God so yeah guys in conclusion I absolutely love what I do I feel like it's a lot it's rewarding like I said, it does have a big impact on like my social life, but I do try to get out. And like I said in the last video, do something that I love for myself every single night, even if it's small. Um, but I absolutely love what I do. I love the kids. I love teaching. I feel like it has a really big impact. And when you think about the education system, it's a civil rights social issue. Like, And yes, I am Christian. I do believe that, yes, racism is um, sin, but I cannot stand in front of my students and just say that it's a sin issue um it's things that i can do um to impact them it really has big a big impact on social mobility so what i'm trying to do is like educate these kids and try to um speak life into them because i know that it's going to affect them later down the road um and race has a big issue when it comes to teaching and i work in urban education so i do work in a low income area um teaching students and usually in those low income areas they don't provide um good quality education so what we try to do is close the gap and it take a long it take long hours to do so but at the end of the day you know that you're doing something that's rewarding and it's definitely helping um your like people of color like it makes a really big big impact and i think that's one of the things that i really love about teaching is that it has an impact on, on those kids. This gives a little update of what I've been up to. I just thank you guys so, so much for watching my channel, for just still being big supporters of my channel. Just keep praying for me. I just really want to do the things that I also feel like God has called me to do. Um, so with the time that he has given me, um, I just pray that I just find time to do those things. And even if they're delayed, that's fine i just want to accomplish them so thank you guys in advance for your praise thank you guys so so much for being big supporters of my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys